right, we're getting ready to move into our workout here. This is called Home Gone Bad. This is the dumbbell version. So with that, um, there's going to be a lot of reps here. This is going to be a bit of a grinder. Um, and so just get ready that you're going to be working. This is set up EMOM style or every minute on the minute. You are going to work for five minutes and then you're going to rest for one minute. And we'll do three rounds. So that'll be 17 minutes on your timer. Um, you were going to do one movement for one minute solid. Once that timer goes on the minute, you'll switch to the next movement. Your score at the end of all of this is the total number of reps that you complete this morning. So I would recommend you count each rep while you're doing them. And then at, when you come up to your rest, write that down and then you can total that up at the end of your three rounds. It's a lot to keep track of. Um, we got some pretty grueling movements here today too. So with the workout, it is specially noted. This is probably where you're going to want to use a little bit lighter dumbbell than you normally would. Okay. Uh, and that is the recommendation of the workout as, as well. So don't go grab your heavy one. If you've got one that you normally grab, this would be one case here where you might want to go one size down, or if you don't have that, maybe work with one dumbbell to get your reps in. Okay. This is going to be a lot of reps and it's going to happen quite fast. So our first getting into that on our first minute, much like what we did on Saturday, we're going to be doing dumbbell thrusters. Okay. So dumbbell thrusters, that's down into a squat, push overhead, push overhead and lock those out every time. So you are going to do dumbbell thrusters for one minute. If you don't have a little bit lighter dumbbell, you can do one like this, but my recommendation would be to take the one, hold it like in a crusher grip, right? And get your head through, almost like you were using a barbell. So that will be thrusters, dumbbell thrusters for one minute. After that, we will move ourselves into dumbbell lateral jump overs. So get your dumbbell on the ground, right? And we're just jumping over that dumbbell laterally, okay? Go careful, watch what you're doing. Get that second one out of the way. I don't want anyone to have any rolled ankles as we're jumping. So we'll do that for minute two. After we're done minute two, we'll move into three, which is a single arm dumbbell sumo high pull. So sumo means wide grip, it's down, and pulling that up high, okay? Still want to get like a good deadlift position. So give you an idea what that is from the side. Wide feet, keep those knees out, don't let them collapse, right? And we'll do those. You can switch up the arm if we want, but we're doing those sumo dumbbell high pulls. And that's just a single dumbbell. After that, we're moving into dumbbell push press. So, because we're using lighter dumbbells, some of you might decide to just do this. Don't go strict. Okay, this is a push press. So a push press means we're using our legs to initiate that weight overhead. So we're, right? And we lock out every time at the top. So those arms should lock. Pace yourself, make sure you keep breathing while you're doing that. If you want to do a single dumbbell, you can go in front and you can go right and through, but lock out those arms and get that head through every time. So that would be your dumbbell push press. Count, keep counting on your total reps there. After we've done our push press, we would get our skipping rope and we would go into double unders or we would move ourselves into single unders with a skipping rope, right? Or we could do our plate hops, right? So we get our plate and we're just off and on onto a plate. We can put the tape down on the ground. We can do our, uh, we can just do our jumping over target. So for the skip rope, as we're working with that, right? Uh, so 
if we're doing double unders, we've got that rope, and it's that's a double under. Single under, just match your motion, okay? So with that, if you don't have room for the skip rope, I suggest the tape two inches apart on the ground and just pop it over that. So back and across is one rep, all right? Count your total reps for those five rounds. Write that down. Rest your minute. That's when you get your drink of water and get ready to go for three rounds. Total score is all your reps.